I'm Brittany Umar, welcome to The Nooner, presented by The Village Poorhouse, where we do a shot every time someone says CC or K-Rod. So the hot stove is warming up a bit at the baseball winter meetings in Las Vegas. No huge deals yet, but the GMs have been busy enough that none of them have had time to take a break and go make it rain at the Spearmint Rhino. According to the New York media, CC Sabathia is afraid of the New York media. The 6'7", 290-pound pitcher has denied the report, but said he'd be more likely to sign with the Yanks if everyone just cooled it with the fat jokes. If the Yanks can sign CC, they'll turn their attention to talented, injury-prone hurlers AJ Burnett and Ben Sheets, because their disabled list is steel reeling from the losses of Kevin Brown, Jarrett Wright, and Carl Pavano. Sabathia allegedly told Dodgers GM Ned Coletti that he would love to pitch in LA. The Steinbrenners have already ordered spokesman Howard Rubenstein to recycle a statement from 2006, blaming all their problems on Joe Torre. The Mets' initial offer to Francisco Rodriguez was reported to be a two-year deal with an option, although rumors are swirling that a three-year deal could possibly get done today. Rumors have also stated that the Mets may sweeten any offer with valuable bonuses, such as extra Mets playoff tickets, always useful, a gift certificate to Duffy's Sports Grill in Port St. Lucie, and Citigroup stock. Some Jets players have admitted that talk of a Jets giant Super Bowl back in the heyday when they were 8 and 3 may have gotten in their heads and contributed to their current two game slide. The Jets also blame the media for the team's shitty secondary. The Giants admitted clinching the NFC East Championship Sunday evening after losing their game earlier was weird. No party at C. Line Manning said. There was also no team party at any New York City club for some strange reason. The Nets are 11-8 and, and leader Vince Carter has passed the praise to new point guard Devin Harris, who leads the team in scoring. NBA analysts say this is the first time Carter has ever passed anything. The shortstaff Knicks are still working on roster relief as spots may open if Catino Mobley retires due to problems with his heart and Stefan Marbury finally gets bought out due to his lack of one. Candidates to fill the spots are Patrick Ewing Jr., the possibly available in trade Jerry Stackhouse, and Jimmy Chitwood, who may be 87 years old, but his contract does expire in 2010. St. John's beat NJIT yesterday to extend the New Jersey school's loss streak to 41. Coach Norm Roberts complimented NJIT, saying his team could learn from their opponents for when they launch their own losing streak as soon as the Big East season starts. All right, we're receiving reports that the Mets may be closing in on a deal with K-Rod. Keep checking SNY.TV for news throughout the day because we're all wondering what the hell number is he going to wear?